Hello there YouTube and welcome to another computing related video. I'm sorry about the background noise but this server is running and today's video is about DBAN. And the question of the day is, can you DBAN a server? Let's find out. So this server belonged to uh, my employers and I salvaged it from the recyclers. I've got a copy of Hiron's Ultimate Book CD. This is 5.0 Release Candidate 2. Now I appreciate that that is an old release. I did burn this disc a number of years ago, but I can't find the USB key that I made for the previous USB D-band video because I made that USB key a number of years ago. I used it recently but I can't find it. But anyway, the point is, can I boot this CD and straight D-Ban? I'm betting no, and I'll explain why. D-Ban is loaded, let's type Auto Nuke. As you can see, D-Ban has failed. Discs were not detected. Let's power down and start again. Okay, so the reason why D-Ban doesn't detect the hard discs is because they're set up as a RAID array. This is a HP ProLine DL380G4 with some uh, SCSI hard drive set in a hardware RAID. In order for D-Band to erase the drives, we've got to turn the RAID array into single individual disks. So there's five hard drives in this server at the moment. What we need to do is turn them into five individual hard drives rather than having one big RAID RAID hard disk that the computer sees. So we do that as the computer or the server boots up and we turn off the RAID array and set the disks as individual drives. Let's do that. So as the server boots you get a chance to enter the HP array configuration utility and from here we can view the current logical drive arrays. One is a RAID 140 at 33.9GB and one is RAID 5 at 135.7GB. So we need to delete these logical drives. So we're going to the delete option and press F8 to delete and then F3 to confirm. And that will delete that array. And then we can view and you can see that only the RAID 5 is left. So if we go and delete that one as well, so it's F8 to delete and F3 to confirm. And there's no logical drives available. If we create a logical drive, we can use the individual drives and make a new array. However, we want to leave these now at the individual hard drives for D-Band to be able to wipe them. So if we escape out of that, and we can let the CD boot, and D-Band should hopefully see the individual drives. So I was totally and utterly wrong. The version of D-Band, the ones that are version 2 and higher, don't have the required CCISS driver in order for it to see the HP Smart Array. So I created the floppy disk version of 1.7 and that will support, fingers crossed, the HP Smart Array and allow me to deban the entire array. My understanding now, after doing some more research, is that you have to create one big RAID array drive, so I've gone ahead and done that. And I will now boot off the, the floppy drive and do the auto new process again. So this is loading off the floppy drive now, so it's a little bit slower than the CD version of the boot. But it does this time detect all the discs. And there you go, the 
Chassis CISS driver, an unknown device, and it's starting the wipe process. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Leave a comment if you have one, and share this video with all your friends. Thanks a lot. See you later. You can click my face to subscribe if you like. I'll wait. Still here? Hi. Yep, still here. Mm -hmm. See you.